newspapers have been writing large papers for quite a long time, such as today's regular newspapers. What's the reason? You may think it's because printing on a large piece of paper costs less money, but the real reason is as follows. In 1712, British newspapers had to pay taxes according to the number of pages in newspapers. So the editors chose the paper of the same size as it is now to reduce the number of pages. In 1855, taxes were removed and newspapers were unwilling to change their existing ways, even though printing newspapers on large paper costs a huge extra cost. So why haven't they changed the size of the existing newspaper for so long? Really, did no one ever think of printing on a small piece of paper? Of course, there were many people who had such thoughts. Why don't we print newspapers on a small piece of paper? The people who suggested were steady, but they were always turned away. Newspapers uniformly refused to change, saying, which newspaper does that? And the reader will probably not like it. This phenomenon is known as collective inertia. It refers to a phenomenon in which people follow multiple choices unconditionally without knowing the reason. This is where you should be most careful when planning your business. Many companies recognize business planning as a natural annual event and plan in the same pattern every year without any worries. Of course, the effectiveness of this approach may have been proven over a long period of time. But just because it's been effective so far, it can't go on. Therefore, you have to review this method at zero base. It's not just the method, it's also the content. If you start this business again now, will you do it this way? If you change to a new management team, will you use the same strategy as you do now? So, you have to look at everything you've done before at zero base. Oh,